Hello, Yankees universe. It's been a while. I'm used to, like, do beer chugs for my favorite team's win over any other teams. If it's baseball or football, wrestling, I'm trying to get into hockey. Anyway, um, and also do splits, something like that. But this one, um, this one is something that I need to get off my chest. And as a matter of fact, um, I'm just doing a recap for, um, cause I just finished watching the documentary of Derek Jeter, the captain. And, uh, it was a great, it was a, a great, uh, documentary about how his, how his life's been, um, from a local hero of Kalamazoo, Michigan to a major league baseball playing hall of famer. Um, I watched his um his episodes uh when it's about um proving everybody wrong that he could be the only kid in Kalamazoo, Michigan to be picked from the, in the majors major leagues. Uh he had been struggles, uh, there's been racism. Um there was uh fame, uh friendship and uh ending friendships with Derek Jeter and uh, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez. Um, um, showing his leadership, how a nice guy and great person Derek Jeter is. Um, even his team thinks of him as a true leader. Even uh, Joe Torrey thinks he's a a great choice for a captain of of the New York Yankees. Uh, my family and myself, we're a huge New York Yankees fans. And there, there's this one particular um, player that everyone loves the most, and including uh, my family and my friends and myself, and that is Derek Jeter himself. Um... Well, when I was a kid, I, I barely knew baseball. I, I hadn't had to pay much attention to baseball, all that. But I've been hearing my dad, my brothers, and my friends saying how great the Yankees are and how great Derek Jeter was as a shortstop, his throws, his hits. I mean, take the other other players from the New York Yankees. I mean, Babe Ruth, he's the icon of hitting balls out of the park. Don Manley, he's the icon as a first baseman. Great player. And now you have a iconic shortstop, and that is Derek Jeter, who is a, an unbelievable guy. He's almost he's almost like a, almost like a guy. <laughs> I was gonna say God, but I don't think <laughs> but I just say he's like part he's like part of something of this. Like Maybe like part of um, uh, it's kind of I don't know it's kind of hard to say, but part of our lives, you know. Um, I, and I'm I'm just really happy that I got to know Derek Jeter how he was when he was from um, from his home state of Michigan to now. We don't know what he's doing now. He was a CEO of the Miami Marlins, and he he stepped down. Um, Jared Jeter is, like I said, he's an icon. He's a very loyal and very compassionate and a, a caring person. He loves his parents. He loves his sister. He loves his friends back in Michigan. He loves his teammates. His his coaches, um, his wife and and his children. Um, he it's it he like he said in the documentary he he has a hell of a ride and um, the last episode he said to me the last words he said was um, it's not over like I don't know what it means like what what does that mean for Derek Jeter is there something more he's gonna do like. 
but we all know he's going to live for a long, long time, for a long, long time. And um, I say Jared Jeter might be do something good uh, for the New York Yankees. Maybe he'd be like part of the staff or um, maybe he could work with other teams and, uh, and um, maybe it's a, maybe a Michigan. I'm trying to see and work things out with the Marlins, but it's Derek Jeter. It's his life. He, he wants to do it his way, so there's nothing we can I can do or any of us could do to, to tell him what's next for er, er, uh, for um, uh, uh, Jeter. But he's a five-time um, World Series champion. He's known as Mister November, even though he got the he won the World Series at November. <laughs> it was back in the it was back in the nineties or it was the two thousand. Um, late nineties or two thousand, um, and when then he uh, retired in two thousand fourteen. But um, I want to show you guys something. This is a little story, but it's a, it's like um, a a Derek Jeter card story. Um, it was like a couple of years ago before he announces his retirement. I was I was walking in the park one day and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I was going, you know, I was just saying the song, but anyway, I was walking through the park one day and, um, I was doing some little exercise and I noticed there was something on the ground that's by the basketball court. So I, I walked over there and, uh, I looked down and it says, and it was a, it was a, uh, a baseball card. And I figured some maybe it was some a car that it was some famous it was some not famous car famous player or something like that because I didn't follow baseball all the time. And when I looked up, I turned around and there was the face of Derek Jeter. So I found this and I brought it home and I didn't show it to anybody, but this is the first time I showed it to all of you this card right here. Um, you know, um. This card means it means a lot to me because it, it means a whole lot to me ever since um, hearing about Derek Jeter, uh, how he plays, how caring he is, and how grateful he is. Um, I want to tell you guys my little secret. Um, if I ever have the chance or an opportunity to ever meet Derek Jeter in person. Even though this card is like a little dented, it has like the corners of, are bent, scratches, but I still want him to like to sign this card and we will have like a chat, talk about how, talk about baseball, talk about um, what's going on and um, and maybe I would get him to play golf with my father because he's a, a huge golf. My dad's a golf person. Play him at Pine Valley, or maybe, or maybe just go out and have have a have fun um, one day. That would be like, what that would be a great mo would be a thrill would be a, ha a thrill of a lifetime, and that would be and that was a bucket list for me, this this moment. If you ever if I ever meet him and sign this card. Then it'll be worth more than maybe more more than just a card. It's just it's worth it's it's worth a, a whole lot more. And uh, I remember um, it was back in uh, two thousand fourteen. Uh, I was watching the final game of Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter at Yankee Stadium, his final home game. And I remember I taped this clip to see him do the final play. It was it's five and five. It was Yankees versus the Orioles. It was the bottom of the ninth. And Derek Jeter made a base hit, and I wanted the Yankees to rush home, a walk-off hit, a walk-off single, I mean, walk-off base hit. And everybody was jumping on him, saying that was a, a huge moment. That's the way to uh, put a period, no, put the final chapter of 
Derek Jeter, his major league career. How, how great he was, how wonderful he was, and how the kind of guy he is. of Major League Baseball. Uh, bear in mind, this is not, a, uh, I'm not doing a beer chunk, just doing a little sip, but, uh, but, uh, but this I can make an exception. Um, to Derek Jeter, through his life, from childhood to manhood, from rookie to pro, to Hall of Famer, to legend, to icon, and a hero for all of us. You, Yankee or not, player, a great person. We love you, Derek. We love you very much. And, um, <laughs> I'm been lost for words um, after watching that episode of um, the documentary of Derek Jeter the Captain, which you can see it again on ESPN Plus if you all have the time. But I know you will all do. So, here's a Derek Jeter and his story. May. May your, okay, may your happiness be your journey. Hall of Famer, Derek Jeter. Go to your Yankees. I love you, Derek. And we all, everyone around the world loves you. And don't ever change. Go Derek Jeter, the captain. We all love you. And Yankee Universe, let's keep cheering on for the New York Yankees. Win this season. Win a few series. And getting the 28th pennant for New York. For all of us. And Derek Jeter. <laughs>